Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. I am in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, riding a chairlift up to the top of the mountain. And you may be asking yourself, Sean, why are you riding a chairlift in Wyoming in August? I don't have a good answer for you. I wish I did. I hear the views are up top are beautiful, so I figured I'd take a ride, bring you guys along with me, take a look. So uh, while I'm riding this chairlift up, I'm gonna let you guys watch the uh, flight in yesterday. It was stunning. We had a little bit of weather on the early part of the arrival, but then it cleared out and we had a great view of the Teton Mountains. It was just really, really nice. So uh, before I send you guys over there, don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, keep up with us on our crazy adventures, and uh, leave me some comments, let me know what you think of the content. But I'm gonna ride this thing up here, enjoy the video, we'll see you guys at the top. I did not remember zero, requesting the chop. Yeah. Salt Lake Center. You were like, fetch the chopper. Yeah. They, they got it wrong. Well, we Number got one, the Quebec here. Well, we got the ILS Zulu all loaded up, briefed. We're good to go. All right, say again for one Quebec here. One Quebec here, clear, direct Jackson Hall Airport. Jackson, direct Jackson Hall, 461 Quebec here. We just kind of go into this cloud and out, but it's, uh, we're in it. 461 Quebec here is uh, descending now to 450 for 200. We're on Quebec here, thanks. Going to maintain 16,000. The Jackson Hole coming in. We're a little high, but we've got a high and, elevation uh, airport over with the uh, approaches. Okay. Real quick, if you're okay with that. Fine, yeah. All right, APU 000, is still 9, shut 9, down. 9, we'll follow that up here in a few minutes. Altimeters, we'll get to those in a few minutes, but it's 2998 will be the trend. Information Juliet, correct? We got the information. Just changed. Roger, right, instead of maintaining one five thousand. Down to one five thousand. See one five thousand. All right, FDK valve is closed. Exterior lights are still good for right now. Cabin notices are on. on. Seats and harnesses. Your left. On the right. Nozzle steering. How you look over there? Yeah, just clearing the trash. All right. Fuel is sufficient and balanced. EREF I have not done, so let's knock that out real fast. Call right. Eagle 6458, let's request uh, direct to Lima Kilo Tango. November uh, 458, Roger, clear, direct to, I believe it's Sam and Lima Kilo Tango. Right. 127 and 117 are the numbers. There we go. Let's see here, that all looks appropriate. 6,300, we need 48. All right, I like it. All right, we don't have CAT 2 checks, so approach checks are complete. Okay. Jack Siren Fresh and Juliet, 2156 Zulu. Wind 250 at six, weather better than 5,005. Temperature 2.4, 2.2, altimeter 2, niner, niner, 8. Expect ILS Zulu or visual approach landing to parking on the right outlet one niner. ILS checked in to the altitude. Contact Casper approach 120.65 and let them know, please. Contact, you have information, Julie. American Plus 24, we're good for uh, start to door now. Okay, that was a uh, scratchy second. Look, there's still snow. Oh, I see snow. Door. Uh, American 1, uh, sorry, 1224, thanks. Cross Denor, Delta River Whiskey at above 14,000, cleared the ILS Zulu 19. Straight Denor at uh, 14,000. 14. Okay. Execute. I think we'll be well at that at this point. We'll be there in about uh, 60 seconds. So. Yeah. SC 601, descent upon discretion down to 1, 6, I do have 14,000 set. Uh, actually, uh, SC 601, let me amend that. Descent upon discretion down to 2, 0, 0. We can actually go ahead and set in a uh, warm room. Down to 2, 0, 0, 2, 3, 6, 0, 1. Set in what? We can set in 8,000 at Yuzgu because we're cleared for the approach. Okay. November 9 or 7. And then what I'll do is, uh, uh, sorry, to well, it down to uh, one room. He, he did say cleared for the uh, uh, approach? Cleared for the ILS approach. Oh. You can double check uh, it with him. Uh, yeah. 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 I missed that part, so. All right, down to uh, one. Double check it. It's always good to double check. 16,000. Center double. And uh, center. Just want to confirm. Did you say we were cleared for the ILS uh, Zulu one night? Cross Denor at above 14,000, cleared ILS Zulu. Okay, clear for the ILS Zulu Denor at uh, 14,000. Thanks. Okay, 
Yeah, I missed the clear for the approach part, so. Yep, you got 8,000 set in there for it. So you got, the path will take us to it. And by the radicator. All right, I don't see weather being an issue too much. 367, likewise, Rick, Let's see, there's the Grand Teton. Yeah, yeah. It's hazy, but you can still see them. Got it. It'll, yeah, it'll pop out here in a second. Yeah, it's clearing out nicely. Oh, yeah. Super nice. Yeah, the airport's just down there somewhere. Yeah, in that plane to the left yeah. of that hill. Yeah. Contact Tower 118.07, have a good day. Over to Tower, see ya. Tower, Hawker, ILS, Zulu for one night. Hawker, Jackson, uh, Tower, report Wamru. Wamru. Which one? Wamru. Okay, we'll report Wamru. Uh, All good. Yeah, ILS, Roger. Right. Everything's good. So oh, easy, man. They let you do this in flight school. You got your license in like five hours. Yeah, right. I guess I can arm the approach. Yeah, I was just thinking that. 3D69, Jackson, ground runway 100, taxi via Alpha. Actually, inside. I see it, yeah. It can be hard to get slowed down for this thing. Yep, high elevation. Yeah, and high density altitude. Yep. Charlie Victor will be ready to go 100. Fifteen selected and indicated. Citation one five Charlie Victor Jack Stereo. Yeah, we're ready to go for one five Charlie Victor. Citation five Charlie Victor runway one nine are cleared for takeoff. Wind two six zero at eight. Clear for takeoff, one enter, one five, Charlie Victor. Hawkers for charging, parting, uh, party arrival, citation 560. 2500. Clear to land. Clear to land, one nine, and we'll watch for the traffic, just so, so you know we're just passing Wamaru now. Roger. All right. Okay, you're down. Speed checks. Three green, no red, gears down, Enter. APR is armed, sink is off, everything is on, we're cleared to land. Air brakes are stowed, APR is armed, sink is off, flaps got a little bit to go on those. Yeah, I gotta lose some speed here. Yep, nose wheel steering looks centered over there. I'll get the main air valves here shortly and take them on fire up the APU. We got a minute. And you can go flaps to full speed checks. I'm gonna go nice and easy. Yeah, that's cool. Flaps are full and indicating. All right, just got the main air valves, autopilot, and the yaw damper to go. One thousand. 
Citation 5, Charlie Victor, contact Salt Lake Center, good day. Well, the Center 5, Charlie Victor, see you. Rough at 10, sink in 7. Four hundred. Three hundred. Radio you know, valves are shut. Two hundred. One hundred. Riffetin. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Here's rough. Got dump, 4,000 remaining. 100 knots, 3,000 remaining. Better go to the end. Not yep, bigger. yep. Hucker, the turn left Alpha 1, to actually 2 park the Alpha, monitor the ground. Alpha 1, Alpha to park and we'll monitor the ground. Fitch at 369, runway 19er, cleared for takeoff, wind 2505. 19er, cleared for takeoff, Fitch at 369. Alright, looks like their hangar's coming right along. Alright, Alpha to park. That guy, I guess. I haven't get across this line anyway to be legal. Yeah. I don't know if he wants us to go that way or there. There he is. Yeah. You give me to clean up the flaps. Yeah. There we go. go. All right. Air brakes are shut. Flaps are up. Lights are good. Kill those as well. You know, heats and veins are all off. Heaters are off, APR is disarmed, transponder's still going, radar. I'm standing by over here, I think you were as well. Yeah. APU is up with the AAC on it. All right. A little tight, but we're good. Falcon 10 there. Fitch at 369, contact Salt Lake Center. Good day. Looks like their car made it. I don't see anything about a car. How about that approach? What a beautiful day up here. Uh, I finally made it up to the top and uh, you can see uh, the city of Jackson down here below. The airport is way, way out there. I don't, know, I don't think you can see it because I can barely even see it. So uh, anyway, just amazing views up here. It's like 6,800 feet, I think, somewhere around there. I think it's somewhere around 55, 60 degrees as well outside. Light breeze, just beautiful weather up here. So uh, they weren't lying, pretty freaking nice up here. I think we get two more days in the area. I'm hoping we can go to Yellowstone uh, National Park tomorrow, bring you guys along, of course, and uh, get a couple days up here to just relax, hang out, enjoy the nice weather in the mountains, and then we go home in a few days. So uh, I'm gonna make my way back down the hill and we'll find something else to do.
So we're driving along here and we come across the Aviat Aircraft Company where they make the Huskies and they've got a whole bunch of them sitting out here on the ramp. Opened up where we can come out here and check it out. We ran into one of the guys letting us uh, take a look at some of the airplanes. Gorgeous airplanes. They, they build them right here. We may come back next week and actually see inside the factory. They're out here doing a little test flying uh, on a few of their new ones. So uh, yeah, really cool airplanes. Uh, beautiful birds, great for the backcountry flying if any of you guys need one. But uh, we may come back in a few days and actually see the, the production process. So we'll see if we can make that happen. So we're gonna keep moving.